So hey, David here with Guide Recommended. We're gonna do five favorite flies for pike. So I'm gonna list them off. I gotta say a couple thank yous right from the beginning. The folks at Umka, they kind of allowed me to use some of their pictures to kind of list off some favorites. And a good friend of mine, Dustin Harley, over at Ripple Guide Service, over in Michigan by the Chicago area, some amazing pike that he gets on the fly so i got a link below check out dustin excellent guide you will enjoy a day with dustin fly fishing i'm going to show like bam 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 there's a couple of pike that dustin caught so let's go through them so the favorite flies the first one is the snake fly snake fly nice and long squirmy in the water just a perfect fly for pike fishing next one up is our flash tail whistler excellent fly lots of color lots of action we get to our lefties deceiver just a ubiquitous fly perfect for catching pike our northwood ninja colorful lots of action nice and long a good fly for fly fishing. And finally, our Clouser's Mish Minnow. Clouser Minnow. So we're gonna tie this guy real quick. This again is a support article to my article. I got 10. <laughs> it's like I'm like a salesman. <laughs> it's not natural to me. I got 10 flies in total to go through, plus some setup. So check out that link, I'll put a thing below on the video to check out my article on guide recommended but let's dig into the close-ups with the Clouser's Minnow. All right so let's do our Clouser's Minnow. Kind of had a variation with a yellow uh, top so when it's in the water it actually fishes like this so the Clouser traditionally has a white underside some flash and some yellow reds whatever your color wants to be we're gonna go with a pink this next round that is it all right let's go here we got our size six streamer hook now you can vary this everything i'm going kind of a freshwater version vary this just huge flies, small flies, big flies, all that. So divide the hook up into thirds and you wrap back to the first third. All right, let's get my. And this is where you're going to put your dumbbells in. So I'm going to use some lead dumbbells. Secure these well. So. You know, you hear different people talk about different wraps for these. I'll use a traditional figure eight. And then really a lot of what I'll end up doing is gluing it, right? So I'm gonna use some UV glue on this. It's gonna do a, I don't know, a circle wrap, helicopter wrap, all right? You wanna end up around the front of the fly. All right, so I'm in the front at about the halfway point between the lead and the eye. So at this point, I will dab on just a little bit of my UV. Just a drop there. And you really want to secure those threads. The threads are what's holding this guy on. Give that a hit with the torch. All right, we got that on. All right, first to go on, so this would be the bottom of the fly, so white bucktail, deer hair, um, a good pinch, right? When I say good pinch, a, let's call it a half a pencil, maybe three toothpicks, right? All right, so I got that. Grab it towards the, probably the two thirds back. Pull out any guard hair, hairs that you might have. All right, so with my pinch, I like to measure about two hook lengths. I will cut that off nice and square. 
right? Cleaning down on an angle towards that eye, two lap loops around and then tighten. Wrap back, securing this well, right? My thread wraps are one on top of the other, really pulling down, giving that some tension. I'm gonna hold that hair in place, wrap forward, that will give me the starts of my nice wrap. Okay, if you can see, I've separated the hair from the shank over, pulling up. I want to keep all that hair on top of that hook. Two wraps, drop it down, and then loose wraps back. One, two, three, four. Gets me back to the hook. Point. I'm not pulling real hard. Wrap me back up and then back to the front. All right? Let's flip this guy over. At this point, it's time to put in some crystal flash. I'm using silver, but you can use every color. Popular color is, you know, the golds and the chromes. I'm going to get about six of these. Cut them. Let's get one more. And then I'm going to show you a little trick. All right. With these, I'll pull a couple longer than the others. So I got varying lengths. I get my thread back up just behind there. All right. Wrap it in. All right. So I've got that positioned. Now I will pull it so it's uneven links between the front and the back, holding my thread down, securing everything. All right, there we go. All right, I try to get a little bit of the crystal flash on both sides of the hook. And this gives me that nice varied length. We'll trim off the ends of those long guys. Let me get done. So get my hook, my thread back up in front. Let's put our pink bucktail in. Another little pinch. All right, cutting close to my hide. Same technique again. Grab it to the last third. Pull out the short hairs. Measure for length. Okay, a little bit longer. Square it off. Pull a little bit out. Again, the same technique we had before. Pointing down towards that eye. Wrap it in. Two wraps. Pull it tight. All right, I'm wrapping right back into the eye, the dumbbell eyes, and then wrapping back forward, one on top of another. Now this is what gives me that nice tapered head that is so traditional on these minnows. All right, Let's see I got a couple strays over on this side. Now we're time to whip finish. Now I like to finish this off with some UV glue and I will trim off that flash after I get this set. Around the eye, bottom side. Let's do some trimming. Just a little bit longer than my hair length for the flash. And because I like to have a black eyes on this, 
get my marker out and uh, mark this guy up. There it is, the Clouser Minnow. Excellent fly. Get out and tie this thing, get out and fish this thing, it works.